ओ नमस्तेयतिराजाय विवेकानंदसूर सच्चे सुखस्वूपाय स्वामीने तापहारिने स्वामीने तापहारिने डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैंडल अ वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सब्जेक्ट बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन अवर लाइफ टू नो व्हाट इज लाइफ इसे लाइफ एंड डेथ दीज आर द टू मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स इन अवर लाइफ एंड एवरीबडी विल हैव टू फेस so we should have a sufficient knowledge of this what life is and after life after death what happens to man so both things are equally important more than death life is important because we are living in this world death after death we don't know what will happen but at least while living in this world we should know what life is and how we should lead that life so that our future will be bright we can go beyond even life and death that is also possible for human being for human being there is nothing impossible so therefore today's subject is what is life now we will discuss this subject in the light of swami vivekananda's teachings swami ji has given almost five to six definitions of life because swami ji was a spiritual teacher he was a world teacher all our scriptures our bhagavad gita our upanishad they all talking about life and swami vivekananda has explained so lucidly in most of his lectures so today we are going to deal with this subject the first definition what swami ji says struggle between something inside and the external world is what we call life so it is clear that when this struggle ceases there will be an end of life so there are two things in this definition swami ji has given us two things he said a struggle between internal and external world you see that means struggle is life what do you say sangharsha so it is a constant fight antare bahire yuddha cha prasanga when swami ji define religion there he says the goal is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature external and internal you see here swami ji says what is the goal of life what is the purpose of life our purpose of life is to manifest that divinity because we are all essentially divine each soul is potentially divine so real nature is divine and to unfold that to manifest that that is the goal of life but how to do that by controlling nature external and internal these two words swami ji used in here also swami ji says it is a struggle between internal and external so we should know what is internal and what is external and what is beyond that as swami ji told that our essential nature is divine now we have to struggle we have to constantly fight against the nature there is a constant war between the soul and the nature this nature always try to put us down and we struggle to get out of it and that is what is swami ji said life so here internal nature means you see our body our senses our mind our thoughts these are also part of nature our emotions everything is part of nature this is internal nature and external nature means what we see this physical world in this physical world 
we see so many temptations we see attachment we see sense pleasures sense objects so in this physical world also there are many things which after we are always running so we running after these worldly things so there here what we need self control we have to control ourselves we have to control our internal nature as well as well as we have to control external nature unless we conquer this both we cannot go beyond that so this is what swami ji says constant struggle those who constantly struggling for this they are called spiritual seekers because they know this nature is bondage this nature is trying to pull us down we have nothing to do with this nature because it is a matter it's a material thing so but we are the spirit spirit is different and matter is different and therefore there is constant struggle that spirit is trying to get free from the bondage of nature and nature won't allow nature want to pull it down push it down nature easily will not allow that's why in bhagavad gita bhagwan krishna says this my maya this is my divine power it is very difficult to cross daivi esha gunamai mama maya duratteya mame vay prapadyante maya meta starantite those who take refuge in me they only can cross this ocean of samsara they alone can cross this maya otherwise it is very difficult so it is a constant war here swami ji says and that is life that means we have to struggle suppose if we don't struggle what does it mean that means we surrender to the nature we became the slave of the nature we obey nature nature says do this and we do it that is called slavery that is not freedom and slavery is death that is what is swami ji says what is death death is nothing but to surrender the nature no struggle absolutely no struggle accepting everything whatever is here whether nature is giving us kicks insult all sorts of things but still we are clinging to it we don't want to give it up that is our slavery and that is death what is this therefore here swami ji has clearly told so it is clear that when this struggle ceases there will be an end of life when this struggle will cease that means we will not struggle to go beyond then our life will end that means we are living corpuses we looks like as if we are living but we are dead because now there is no struggle we have totally surrender to the nature and we obey the nature nature says remain in uh, jungle like a tribal we say all right we will remain in jungle in tribal we we will not construct house and protect ourselves that means we are constantly struggling against nature we are not satisfied with nature all discoveries all inventions whatever you see they are all nothing but man struggle against the nature how so many things science has discovered he is constantly fighting with nature and discovering wonderful things so this struggle must go on if this struggle stop our life will end now suppose if we start struggle the swami ji says we must struggle that is life we will have to struggle for freedom as long as we struggle we are living suppose if we struggle but if we don't achieve success then what will happen our life will end this is what arjuna asked lord krishna 
we struggle in this life but if we don't reach our goal then what will happen everything has gone we have lost everything lord krishna says no shuchi nam shrimatam gehe yogo bhrashta abhijayate struggle has started but anyway you could not conquer this nature in one life your struggle will not end there your journey will continue and you will be born in the house of a very religious person a spiritual person shuchi nam very pure family and srimatam gehe in the house of a rich person so that you will get opportunity to struggle there your struggle has not ended your struggle is continuing your life has not ended because you are not surrender you are a struggling soul so even if you don't achieve success in this life nothing you are losing everything will remain with you everything will go with you and you will struggle next birth also you will struggle more and third is if you realize your real nature then also this life will cease this means your small life will go now you are the part of that whole you are a small particle here jiva you are limited but when you realize your real nature you will become one with the infinite when you become one with infinite your this petty identity will go away as a jiva you will no more exist no more coming and no more going so this is what swami ji has told in his, in this definition he said the first struggle struggle with nature struggle with internal and external nature because this is also internal also is nature that is also made up five elements panchabhuta but only it is a very very fine elements sattva guna out of sattva guna this mind intellect has been so we have to conquer both we have to conquer our emotions we have to conquer our negative thoughts we have to conquer our desires and we have to conquer our attachment to this world always running after this world all these things we have to conquer so that we will be free we will know that what we are we are not the slave of nature this nature this maya has cheated us so many time now we should not get cheated this time we should remember that every time maya has given us something and cheated and we lost our freedom she will throw away a little piece of bread and we are satisfied with that and we sell away our freedom this time we should not do like that see what swami vivekananda says let us not be caught this time so many times maya has caught us so many times have we exchanged our freedom for sugar dolls which melted when the water touched them don't be deceived maya is a great cheat get out do not let her catch you this time do not sell your priceless heritage for such delusions arise awake stop not till the goal is reached these are the powerful words of swami vivekananda don't get cheated by maya this time she will give you sugar dolls and you will lose your freedom for petty things for petty enjoyments you are going to lose infinite therefore struggle 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 that is life if you don't struggle then you are not living being you are a dead being you are surrender you are not struggling at all then how many births you will remain like a slave she will go on tempting you every time sometimes people they renounce everything and go to forest and maya try to deceive them she will give something but then if you don't listen then maya will give some siddhi some powers and that person getting power he start showing that power see i have this power i can fly i can walk on the water 
Maya has cheated. Maya does not want him to go beyond. So she is giving some power, Siddhai, miracles. And he is running after that. He starts showing that power. And the people come running. Chamatkar, miracles. He starts doing miracles. And people rush. And they give a lot of money. So what happened? Siddhi came. Out of Siddhi came Riddhi. Riddhi means money. Plenty of wealth. Then what to do so much money? Then this fellow will start doing something. He will keep on engaging some activities. Now sadhana and everything has gone. As plenty of money has come. All luxuries, enjoyments, pleasures will come. There are many sadhus. After getting money, how they spoil their life? And then there will be prasiddhi. Everywhere your name will spread. Are a great Mahatma, great Mahatma. And ultimately, you will be destroyed. You will not be able to reach your ultimate goal. See how this Maya is cheating. Even Nachiketa, Yamraj offered him everything. He said, Nachiketa, what do you want? Take long life, take plenty of money, take all this worldly enjoyment, take lands, take apsaraj. Whatever you want, you can ask. But don't ask for freedom. Don't ask what happened after death. Nachiketa said, I don't want anything. I want to know the truth. So we have to be like Nachiketa. Maya will offer us so many things, but we should not get cheated. Otherwise, we will be slave. We will remain under her control. Bhagwan Buddha, Mara came. What is Mara? Mara means temptations. When he was meditating, a lot of temptation came. But he did not succumb to temptations. He attained that nirvana. So here this Prakriti will try to give us something, some little piece of bread. And we will run after that. And we will get caught. So Swamiji said, Maya is a great cheat. Don't get cheated. She will give you sugar dolls. And she will take away your heritage, your freedom. This time, such thing should not happen. So be alert, be careful. What is Swamiji's second definition? Swamiji says, expansion is life and contraction is death. Expansion is life and contraction is death. So this is also very important definition. Expansion is life. Because our real nature is infinite. Somehow we are caught in this finite body. And we think that this is my existence. Day by day we get contracted, contracted, contracted. Means we are becoming more and more selfish. The more you are selfish, the more problems you will invite. More sufferings you will have. You can never have peace of mind. Because you are pampering this limited existence. You do not know that you are not only confined to this body, but you are in all bodies. Instead of identifying with others, you want to isolate yourself from others. You are going against the nature. So like that you cannot progress in spiritual life. If you don't expand your heart, your heart should be so big that there should be a place for everybody. Not only my and my, I and mine, not only my people. So your heart should go on expanding. You should feel for others. You should be identified with others. Don't isolate yourself. Don't cut off yourself from others. That is death. So expansion is life. We must learn how to expand. There is a beautiful verse in Sanskrit. Here it is mentioned. Ayam nija paro vetti ganana laguchet saam. Udar charita naam tu vasudhaiva kutumbakam. Ayam nija paro vetti. These people belongs to me. And the other people are, they are separate. Paro vetti. They are stranger. I don't know them. So these people, they are mine. And they are others. 
those who think like this so they are gananam lagu chetasam small minded people but udara charita naam to those who are large hearted vasudhaiva kutumbakam for them the whole world is their family they don't make any distinction this is my this is mine that is yours no the whole world is my because whole world belongs to god so the whole world is mine i love everybody in this world i don't want to remain confined to only one body i don't want to pamper only this body even tukaram maharaj says daya karne putrasi ta ese dasani dasi you love your children the same way you should love the children of your servants also tuka mane sangu kiti yachi bhagwanta cha murti they are the form of divine god is in them also so don't separate bhagwan shri ram krishna said daya and maya only loving our people my wife my children my relations that is called maya and if you expand love everybody also they were kutumbakam that is daya so therefore we must learn to expand we should not contract ourselves no no i am only this much no this body is bondage somehow or other that infinite soul has caught in this limited body and that is bondage for him bondage for you you must try to release this self from this body that is the only your duty how to get a release from this limited bondage but then instead of doing that we always try to pamper this petty self this creaturely existence we always feel happy with that we don't want anybody to come to our house we said no please don't come we want to remain confined to the only our house in this kaliyuga people are becoming more and more selfish they have no feeling for others neighbor is dying without a food but this man has nothing to do with that he has no concern he doesn't feel that they are our neighbor it is our duty to feed them they themselves will enjoy but the poor man will die next door but he has nothing to do with that that means there is no feeling see holy mother's life holy mother used to feel for everybody she said all are my children in india those days there was a swadeshi movement boycotting the foreign goods only we should purchase indian goods so once holy mother's nieces they wanted some cloth so holy mother sent one brahmachari to market and told him to purchase good clothes brahmachari was very much influenced by swadeshi movement he purchased very rough cloth made in india and that is khadi now these young girls how can they like that khadi very rough so that brahmachari told mother we should not purchase foreign goods this is swadeshi movement we will purchase only indian goods then holy mother said my dear child they are also my children it white people they also are my children do you think only i am the mother of only indians i am mother of all that is called the expansion for her there was no caste distinction whether a muslim or a hindu or a christian or a scheduled caste or a brahmin everybody was equal for her that is called expansion nivedita came swami was afraid nivedita nivedita is foreigner and how holy mother will accept her but holy mother embraced her oh my daughter you have come and swami ji was very happy now the mother has accepted mother was a brahmin orthodox brahmin now mother has accepted nivedita now india will accept her so these great people they don't make any distinction but only small minded people they make distinction so here you see here expansion is life we must try to break this cage and go out embrace everybody as our own because we are in everybody because of ignorance 
we think we are confined to only one body that is not truth so let us expand expand our heart about vyasa what they say i bow down to vyasa how is he is vishala buddhe his intellect his heart is so broad embracing everybody so india has produced such great people swami vivekananda bhagwan shri ram krishna they did not make any distinction in ram krishna mart you will find the people of all caste and creed and color and all religions no distinction no man or woman or anybody so such type of heart should be there so we must try to expand our self the more and more we contract we are inviting death only one day one young man came to swami ji swami ji i am practicing meditation i close my doors and windows and everything i sit inside and practice meditation i am not getting peace what can i do swami ji said open your doors and windows go out see how many people are suffering try to remove their sufferings i guarantee by helping others by serving others you will get peace of mind they need your help so don't close your doors and windows open it and go out and try to help that is the way to get peace not isolating ourselves from others that is not the way so this is the second definition swami ji has given expansion is life and contraction is death i am nija paro vetti ganana laghu chetasam udara charite na udara charita naam tu vasudhaiva kutumbakam vasudhaiva kutumbakam the third definition swami ji says love is life and hatred is death love is life and hatred is death so here love that pure love that comes from god how this entire world is going on because of love god has given love in the hearts of people and that's why the world is moving smoothly if there is no love in the heart of mother mother will not take care of children even the birds how they take care of their birds their baby birds because mother knows how to protect their children so god has given that compassion god has given that love in the hearts of everybody what is god god is love swami ji said sri ram krishna is the embodiment of love he brought that love down so we must love anybody and everybody whether rich or poor lower caste or higher caste black or white brilliant or dull we should not make any distinction hajra was there hajra always used to run after after rich people because he wanted money many times people do like that they don't care for poor people they run after rich people because they expect that they will get something from them that is not real love it is nothing but selfishness you don't care for poor people don't try to help them and you run after rich people pamper them praise them flatter them so that you will get something from them that is not true love even teachers they love only bright students those who are intelligent those who are bright they will love them those who are dull ugly looking black they will hate them hey why did you sit here go back side they don't like them so you see we should not make such partiality whether a rich or poor even caste religion when abdul kalam was sitting with an brahmin student in the first bench that teacher told hey you are a muslim why you are sitting with that brahmin boy go back side don't sit here you see that teacher when abdul kalam that boy and other friend both went to their parents and told what is teacher told their parents went to school and scolded that teacher why do you make the differentiate he is a brahmin and he is a muslim don't do like that don't put that poison in their mind and spoil their minds so no hatred we must love 
each and everybody, whether man or a woman, whether a rich or a poor, whether a black or a white, whether a dull or a bright, intelligent. So we must learn to love everybody. Because love is the only thing by which you can go beyond all these bondages. If you can love the entire world as your own, and without questioning, if you go on helping everybody, that means what happened? Your limited ego has totally vanished. Now you can love everybody, not only my people, not only my house, not only my money. You can love the entire world. You can love all people of the world. Swami Vivekananda said, I belong to the world. Why do you say, come to India, come to India? I am not just Indian, but I am belong to the world. These people were not limited by country or with bondage. They said, I came for the world. So, you see, their love is something divine, not love like human beings. Human beings love always with some expectation. They want something. They are selfish. But divine people, they don't have any selfishness. They go on loving everybody. Love is life and hatred is death. Swami Ranganathanji says, Are you growing spiritually? Can you love others? Can you feel oneness with others? Have you peace within yourself? And do you radiate it around you? That is called spiritual growth, which is stimulated by meditation inwardly and by work done in the spirit of service outwardly. Here Swami Ranganathanji Maharaj is telling us what is the test of spirituality? How to know that you are developing spiritually? Can you love others? That is the first condition. Can you feel for others? Then have you peace within yourself? Do you have peace in your mind? Do you feel oneness with others? And that peace not only for yourself, and do you radiate it around you? That is called spiritual growth. You should have peace and you should radiate that peace to others also. Those who will come in contact with you, they also should feel peaceful. That is the real taste of spirituality. Are you spiritual? Then you should love everybody. You should feel oneness with others. You should have peace within. You should radiate that peace then you are spiritual. And how it can be done? Inward meditation, outside service. Serve the poor, serve the God and practice sadhana, purify your mind. Then only you can attain this spirituality. That is what Swami Ranganathanya Maharaj has told. Then Swami says, it is life to do good. It is death not to do good to others. It is life to do good and it is death not to do good to others. So you see, we should love others, but that love should express in action. We can say, I love India, I love India, I love people. I love India, I love people, these are only words. They are only emotions. What have you done for India? If you say you love India, you love Indians, you love poor people, then show in your action. Nivedita loved India and therefore she could sacrifice her life for the good of Indians. So here simply I love saying will not do. If you say I love, I love my mother, but you don't care for your mother. You put her in old age home. What type of love that is? Your love should express in your action. When we really love person, we are ready to sacrifice anything for that person. Simply saying, I love will not do. So here Swamiji said, helping others is life and not helping others is death. Helping others, that does not mean that you are helping others. You are helping yourself because there is no others. You are the only person who dwells in the hearts of everybody. So, helping others is helping oneself. We should always remember that. 
का दैट शिवा दैट गॉड दैट आत्मन दैट इज नॉट ओनली विद इन यू बट दैट डिवेल्स इन द हार्ट्स ऑफ एवरीबडी दैट्स वाई स्वामी जी सेड शिव भावे जीव सेवा भगवान श्री रामकृष्ण इन्सिस्टेड ही सेट रामचंद्र दत्त दैट यू हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ मनी बट देन यू आर ए वेरी माइजर स्पेंड युअर मनी यू फीड दिस डिहोटीज ऑफ गॉड एंड ही मेड हिम ही स्टार्टेड सर्विंग डिहोटीज मथुरू बाबू श्री रामकृष्ण सेड यू आर गॉट प्लेंटी ऑफ मनी इट इज ऑल मदर्स मनी यू फीड द पुअर यू फीड द बेगर यू फीड द साधूज यू स्पेंड फॉर द गॉड सो मथुरू बाबू आल्सो स्टार्टेड स्पेंडिंग मनी सर्विंग पीपल इवन स्वामी विवेकानंद वेन ही वॉज इन अमेरिका रॉक फलर वॉज ए वेरी रिच मैन बट ही वॉर ए वेरी ही वॉज ए वेरी माइजर ही विल नॉट स्पेंड इवन सिंगल पई वन डे ही केम टू मीट स्वामीजी स्वामीजी सेड माई डियर रॉक फेलर यू हॉ गॉट प्लेंटी ऑफ मनी बट डोंट थिंक इट इज युअर मनी लॉर्ड हैज केप दोज मनी विथ यू यू आर ओनली अ ट्रस्टी सो यू मस्ट स्पेंड दिस मनी फॉर द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ गॉड यू शूड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट अमॉंग द पुअर चिल्ड्रन ऑफ गॉड एंड दैट दे ऑनवर्ड्स दैट रॉक फेलर वॉज टोटली चेंज पर्सन ही स्टार्टेड चैरिटी फाउंडेशन ही स्टार्टेड हेल्पिंग पीपल स्वामीजी केम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ जमशेटजी टाटा एंड यू सी टाटा वॉज टोटली चेंज ही स्टार्टेड इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया एंड ही स्टार्टेड डूइंग चैरिटी टू पीपल सो दिस इज वॉट स्वामी विवेकानंद वॉन्टेड अस एंड ही हिमसेल्फ सेड वॉट ही सेड मे आई बी बॉर्न अगेन एंड अगेन एंड सफर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मिजरीज सो दैट आई मे वर्शिप द ओनली गॉड दैट एग्जिस्ट द ओनली गॉड आई बिलीव इन द सम टोटल ऑफ ऑल सोल्स एंड अबव ऑल माय गॉड द विकेड माय गॉड द मिजरेबल माय गॉड द पुअर ऑफ ऑल रेसेस ऑफ ऑल स्पेसीज इज द स्पेशल ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माय वर्शिप सी स्वामी सेड आई मे बी बॉर्न अगेन एंड अगेन आई डोंट वरी अगेन यू इफ आई हैव टू बॉर्न बट आई विल बॉर्न अगेन एंड अगेन टू सर्व द पुअर पीपल बिकॉज दे आर माय गॉड्स I want to serve them. In this world, you see, the nature is giving us everything. We can learn lesson from nature. Trees. They suffer. You see, there is so much of heat and wind and rains. They remain there, but they give us fruits. They give us flowers. They give us shadow. Can't we learn something from them? Everything they are offering to the man, even wood also they are offering to the man. Rivers, continuously flowing, they give water so that we can irrigate our fields. We can drink that water. We can make use of that water. They don't expect anything, but rivers and trees are only giving to human beings. Should we not learn lesson from nature? At when they are giving everything for our welfare. then what we are doing we are destroying nature we are destroying our brothers we are becoming so selfish we don't want to help others no here what is life life is helping others life is doing good to others and death is not doing good to others that means selfishness is death so when we are unselfish then only we are living that is what swami vivekananda said They alone live who live for others. The rest are more dead than alive. Parahita me jo pranagavata vahi amar ho jata. Jo swartha par hota hai vah jite ji mar jata. While living he is dead because he is not helping others. So here this is what Swami said. What is life? Helping others is life, and not helping others is death. Remember. Then again, Swamiji said, "Strength is life, and weakness is death. Strength is life, and weakness is death." A wonderful definition Swamiji has given. You see, we live in this world, but if we are weak, there is no place in this world for weak people. Everybody will insult you, humiliate you, beat you, kick you, and you will remain quiet because you don't have strength. we should have physical strength mental strength intellectual strength 
without that we cannot survive in this world we have to face many challenges swami vivekananda faced many challenges he could face so swami ji said because we are weak these british people are exploiting us they are taking undue advantage of us they are insulting us humiliating us because we are not it strong enough to protest everything we just go on bearing we suffer we cannot protest we must learn to protest there are many wonderful examples in swami ji's life in abu station that white british tt came in compartment one devotee was with swami ji he said ye aadmi yahan kyon hai iske paas to ticket nahi utra jao swami ji became angry he said what you said ye aadmi kon hai utar jao do don't you know that he is a officer he also is working in railway you are telling him he said i don't know hindi you don't know hindi then you should tell in english then he said this man should get out he doesn't have a ticket then swami he said you don't know hindi and even you don't know english also how can you say this man you should say this gentleman the gentleman should get down you should say this is a first class compartment and you are behaving like this we are the first class passengers you are behaving like this we will complain against you to your boss to your superiors that man said oh sorry sorry sir ran away then swami ji said see if we keep quiet they will sit on our head we should protest why we should be weak so here we have self respect we should have enough strength physical mental intellectual many examples how swami ji protested people used to talk all sorts of things about him he did not listen he was also very strong he was traveling in a train two white people were sitting there they started criticizing so he just kept quiet he said all right let them criticize why should i react when next station came swami ji asked water in english uh, waiter was there you can uh, get me a glass of water these people heard are this swami can speak in english we were talking about him criticizing him he kept quiet then one of them said swami we were talking about you all sorts of things we were criticizing you but you did not say single word you did not protest then swami ji looked at them and he said my dear friends this is not the first time i am seeing fools like you swami ji said fools murkha this is not the first time that i am seeing fools like you they became angry and swami ji did like this and got up and when they saw that swami ji's figure very strong they kept quiet they could not utter single word quietly left the compartment and went away this is what swami vivekananda you should not go on bearing anything and everything and to face you should have strength within you if you are not capable if you don't have strength how can you face the people how can you face the problems how can you face the challenges therefore strength is life and weakness is death don't run away from the challenges don't run away from the problems whatever may come we have to face them you should have a tremendous courage tremendous confidence within yourself that i must do it how do you know that you don't have power you have infinite power within you the only thing is you don't believe atma shakti that is infinite you have infinite strength within you but you don't believe therefore you feel weak swami vivekananda says the history of the world is the history of a few men who had faith in themselves 
that faith calls out the divinity within you can do anything you fail only when you do not strive sufficiently to manifest infinite power as soon as man or nation loses faith death comes you see when you lose faith in yourself then death comes so the history of the world is only the history of few people those who had faith in themselves so you have faith within yourself that you have got infinite power within you try to manifest the more and more you think that you are strong you are strong you will be strong whatever you think you will become if you think you are strong strong you will be if you think you are weak weak you will be so therefore what is life strength is life and weakness is death and the last definition what swami ji said life is the unfoldment and development of a being under circumstances tending to press it down what is life life is the unfoldment and development life is unfoldment and development of a being under circumstances tending to press it down but circumstances are always trying to press him down and he want to struggle and come out all this nature nature means guna tamogun rajogun they always try to press us down we want to do spiritual sadhana tamoguna will come and he will put it as in sleep we will become lazy we will not do anything swami adbhutananda latu maharaj one day evening time he was sleeping sri ramkrishna scolded him latu what are you doing is this time to sleep you should meditate this time so you have to struggle without that you will not progress so that day onwards latu maharaj did not sleep in the night whole night he used to practice spiritual sadhana and even night also bhagwan shri ram krishna was very particular he will send his disciples you go to panchavati go to shiva temple go to kali temple sit there meditate he was making them practicing spiritual sadhana he said don't waste your time so this nature always try to push, put us down we say oh why today tomorrow we will do let us sleep for some more time why you are telling like this because nature is putting you down pressing you down you want to struggle to realize your divine nature nature will not allow you nature will press you down hey, what is there you are tired today you can sleep tomorrow you can do nature will not allow you to practice but you have to conquer the nature no no i must practice i should not listen to nature this nature may say anything nature will provide you all comforts and luxuries and everything no no i don't want all these things i will go to narbada i will go to himalaya i don't seek this comforts i want to realize my divine nature so you see the unfoldment and development of soul under what situation when nature is trying to put you down press you down and you struggle against nature and that is called real life life means struggle there should be struggle without struggle there cannot be life so here life is the unfoldment and development of a being under circumstances tending to press it down so when you want to do anything lot of obstacles will come they say sreyansi bahuvig nani when you want to do good things many vignas will come many obstacles will come but you should continue your struggle you should not stop because we are conscious being after all this is nature it is jada but we are conscious we should always remember that we are the conscious being swami vivekananda said <clears throat> a small insect a small insect crossing the railway line and he said a big engine railway engine is passing on that track that insect will see that railway engine is coming he will jump jump out of the track and that insect will save his life 
स्वामी जी सेड दैट इज कॉन्शियसनेस का दो दैट इंसेक्ट में बी वेरी स्मॉल बट ही कैन कॉन्कर द नेचर ही कैन क्रॉस द रेलवे ट्रैक एंड सेव इज लाइफ इंजन इज सच ए ह्यूज बट इंजन विल हैव टू मूव ओनली ऑन द ट्रैक इट इज मैकेनिकल दो इट मे बी ह्यूज बट इट कैनॉट गो दिस वे दिस वे और दैट वे सेम रूट ऑन द ट्रैक ओनली इट हैज टू गो इट हैज नो इंटेलिजेंट इट हैज नो कॉन्शियसनेस इट इज मैन ऑपरेटेड इट इज मशीन बट मैन इज कॉन्शियस ही कैन एस्केप ही कैन मैनेज ही कैन मैन्युपुलेट ही कैन डू एनीथिंग सो देयर फॉर दी स्ट्रगल शुड बी ऑलवेज देयर वी हैव टू स्ट्रगल अगेंस्ट दी नेचर नेचर विल प्रेस अस डाउन अगेन एंड अगेन बट वेन दी स्ट्रगल विल स्टॉप वी आर ओनली डेड पीपल वी आर जस्ट लिविंग बट डेड बॉडीज वॉट वॉट टाइप ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज इफ यू टोटली सरेंडर टू द नेचर वॉट एवर यू से यू कैन डू विथ मी आई एम यूर बाउंड स्लेव आई विल नॉट प्रोटेस्ट आई विल नॉट स्ट्रगल वॉट एवर लिटिल ब्रेड यू गिव आई विल बी हैप्पी विथ दैट वी टेक रिचेस वी टेक नेम फेम चेयर पावर ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड वी आर क्वाइट सैटिस्फाइड एंड द मदर ऑल्सो इज हैप्पी हो माय चाइल्ड इज सैटिस्फाइड विथ स्मॉल टॉयज वाई शुड आई गिव हिम दैट फ्रीडम इफ ही गेट दैट फ्रीडम देन ही विल कंट्रोल मी आई डोंट वॉन्ट समबडी टू कंट्रोल मी आई मस्ट कंट्रोल ऑल दीज फेलोज सो यू सी वी आर लूजिंग अवर फ्रीडम बिकॉज ऑफ रनिंग आफ्टर द स्मॉल पेटे थिंग्स ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड विदाउट स्ट्रगल विदाउट अवर एफर्ट्स विदाउट साधना देर इज नो लाइफ एट ऑल भगवान श्री राम कृष्णा सेड फोर टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल इन दिस वर्ल्ड देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल वेन द फिशरमैन गो टू रिवर एंड ही पुट इज नेट सम फिशेस विल नेवर एंटर इन दी नेट दे आर कॉल्ड इटर्नली फ्री सोल्स सम फिशेस विल एंटर दे स्ट्रगल and they will come out of the net they are called free souls some fishes they will struggle but they will not be able to come out they are mumukshu at least they are struggling and some fishes going down catching hold that net and thinking that we are safe that fisherman will pull them they are called bound souls they will never struggle baddha jiva श्री रामकृष्ण सेठ मुमुक्षु मुक्त एंड नित्य मुक्त देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ जीवा दिस बद्ध जीवा बाउंड सोल्स दे विल नेवर स्ट्रगल टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट नेट टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस बॉन्डेज टू गेट आउट ऑफ द बॉन्डेज ऑफ नेचर दे विल नेवर स्ट्रगल दे रिमेन सैटिस्फाइड एंड यमराजा विल टेक देअर लाइफ अवे अगेन एंड अगेन दे विल लूज देअर लाइफ एंड हाउ मेनी बर्स विल गो लाइक दैट वी डोंट नो so this should not happen life must be always struggling there should be struggle in our life without that there is no life so struggle 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 until you realize your ultimate goal your real nature is infinite you are potentially divine you are essentially divine so try to realize that when you struggle to realize that that is real life otherwise if you surrender if you are weak if you think about yourself if you are selfish if you are self centered you are only inviting death there is no life in such life there is no life in such living in this world so live in this world but always remember that you are caught in this bondage of body and you must try to get out of it and when you struggle to get out of this that is your real living that is your real life in this world otherwise there is in no struggle there is no life and there is death while living we are dead so therefore we have seen what swami ji said about life he has given five six definitions we have tried to explain them so that our struggle will continue again maya will not cheat us she is a great cheat so we should escape from from her clutches and we will get established in our real nature and that is called real life 
So, we will conclude our uh, subject here today. Namaskar, Dhanyavad. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Makashi Dukha Bhag Bhavet Makashi Dukha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tassat Sri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu